Hi, this is PD at Bergzerg Arcade at BergzergArcade.com and I just wanted to quickly go over the Beta 3 preview that I just received an email for. So here we are, I've opened it up. This is the demo project that we've been working on for our application class. And I just quickly wanted to go over some of the things that look a little bit different. So first off, uh, that's all the same. Build settings. You'll notice down here it's a little different. You have your PC, Mac, standalone. Hmm. So we can move some options over there. There's your iPhone and iPod Touch. Ah, you can make debug builds there. I didn't think you could do that before. Uh, web player, the web player is disabled till Unity, Unity 3 is officially released. And of course, you have Android, Xbox, PS3, and Wii. What's the switch platform? Player settings. Okay, if we come over here, you can actually look at the player settings. Okay, so this is for the. Well, we'll go into player settings after. Let's switch platforms. Well, let's close that. Build and run assets. Oops, we missed edit. So those are the same. Load, save. Let's put the render settings first. It's small. Uh, they all appear to be the same. Ah, when you click now, you get this little pop up box. And not putting anything in there returns an error. Mm -hmm. It looks like you can pick between your scene and your assets. Let's take a look at some of the project settings. Input. Okay, this looks the same. Yeah. Uh, let's see, what else was there? Player settings. Tags, that's the same. At least on first glance. Audio manager. I've never actually used the audio manager. I'm not sure if that's new or not. I'll have to take a look at the old version here and see. But they give you some options there. Time. Player settings. Okay, we've already looked a little at this. So at the top, company, product. So you can make a default icon for it. So this is for your Mac and Windows builds. Default screen resolution, height, running background. Yeah, we just went over that a little while ago. So you can have default to full screen capture. So pretty much all the options are the same. It looks like they've just rearranged the look, kind of put them into categories. Uh, icons. That's nice. Four different sizes of icons. Splash image. I've never really used a splash image in uh, Unity, just in the Unity iPhone. Ah, here's where we get the deferred lighting. So here's where the beast comes in. Interesting. So, what else do we have? Project settings. We've got player physics. I never played with the physics settings in the editor. But it looks different. Hmm. Uh, let's see. What else do we have? Quality. That looks the same. Yeah. It pretty much looks the exact same to me. Okay. Well, network. I've never actually used the network one. 
I've always used a server such as SmartFox Server Pro or Photon for my servers. Editor. This looks new. Uh, okay. External version control support. Oh, this is nice. So we can have versioning now. Let's see, so that's the edit menu. Oh, snap settings. Gives it a little pop up so you can change your X, Y, and Z. So that's where that is. Let's see, assets. You can create assets. They all look the same. Maybe I'll find her, open delete. Ah, so now we have sync model development project. Uh, this looks bigger. We have a wind zone, auto reverb zone. We can create a tree now. And that crashed. <laughs> and there we go. Let's try that again, see if it crashes again. If so, well, we'll submit a bug. Seems to load a little quicker. Oh, it did make my tree prefab, though. Let's delete it. Let's try making another one. Oh, we can just try it with right click down here. Create tree. Oh, then down here. So it's a little different down. Oh, what am I doing? We're we doing it up here. It did not crash that time. Let's zoom in, take a look at it. That's a little bizarre. It's coming out of our cube. Let's move it a bit. Let's add some leaves. Wow. Let's just hit play and take a look at it. Uh, first we're going to have to add a camera. And let's position it. Zero, zero, negative ten. So these are the leaves that I added. Well, we'll play around with that a little later. It seems pretty cool that you can create your own trees, potentially. It's definitely something that I want to play around with. And there's a wind zone. Oh, wow, you can actually have directional wind. It'll be interesting to see if you can have multiple, multiple directional winds, or spherical wind. Well, that'll be great because you could have, uh, since it is a game object, you can activate and deactivate it so you can have wind blowing from different directions. What else was there? Ragdoll we've had before. Cloth. There we go. So there's a lot of new things to play around with here. Uh, these are the basic, the primitives, your lights. Okay. What else can we just quickly look at? So, components of your, those are the same. Particles look the same at first glance. Physics, which body character control. Interactive cloth, skin cloth, cloth renderer. Those are new. Not sure. Constant force might be new. Don't recall it off the top of my head. And I'm not sure about all the different joints. They might be new too. Audio. Uh, there's a lot of new audio. All I recall is audio listener, audio source. So it looks like the 